Hey guys, welcome to the Windows 8 tip series. Today we're taking a look at tip number seven for the series, and that's related to what I like to call the application bar within Windows 8. This is a feature within uh, the modern UI that allows you to snap apps across uh, different portions of your screen here. So this is something that's really unique to Windows 8 and one of the new features. Uh, and again, it displays an application bar where you can take apps and drag them out, especially using a touch interface. Uh, something that's really cool for kind of multitasking or getting a general overview of one app while looking at another app. So to do this, what you want to do is you're going to want to invoke your Windows key to go into the modern UI menu. And once you choose an app, for example, let's say you're browsing, let's say the Windows Store. So if I open up the Windows Store here, and while I'm browsing the Windows Store, you can see one thing it does in Windows 8 is it, since it's a Windows app, it goes into a full screen mode where I can't really see any other apps. And to invoke something called what I like to call the application bar, if you go to the top left, you get this uh, preview of your desktop. And then if you, uh, sorry, here, let me get out the virtual machine. You go to the top left and you go a little bit down from there. You can see you activate these little tiles here. And then you activate what I like to call, again, your application bar. It shows all existing open applications, be it Windows applications or desktop, native desktop applications. So you can see here I have PC settings, I have calendar, music, application, all open. Now let's say I want to view my desktop while I'm browsing the Windows Store. I can simply take the desktop and click it and drag it, and then you can see here I can decide where I want it to go. So I can have it go to the uh, left or right of the app, and I can simply drop it here. And you can see I have the Windows desktop natively on the left here, and I can even drag this and choose to have this full screen right here while having the Windows Store here on the right, and I can easily just switch between the two by snapping uh, a little bit of the grid here. So I can go home, and then I can you know browse the Windows Store, and then jump right back over to uh, the native desktop. Now again, obviously this is going to do some different things for different applications. For example, um, if I was to do this, and then drag it all the way, I go back to the full desktop mode. And the same thing if I was going to go to the top here, I can have PC settings. This is a useful one to have because while you're browsing the web here, you can activate general settings. So for example, you can go into search, uh, you can go to share settings, privacy settings, general settings. Really nice if you want to change a setting on the fly while still staying kind of in the desktop environment. So again, uh, this is just what I like to call the app bar. Now you can do a couple other things from the app bar. If you go again, top left, bot, uh, go down a little bit. Uh, you can right click an app and you can choose to close it from here. So again, all existing apps that are open. For example, you don't really see that this music app or store app are open in the interface down below. It's not going to show up running in the Windows taskbar anymore. It shows up in this little app bar. Um, so you can close them from right here. So you can close applications that are running uh, in the modern UI interface. Um, and that's as simple as that. It's a really great way, again, for multitasking or just kind of getting a general overview. Really nice for stuff like the weather app or anything like that. And again, what's really shines is in this and touch gestures. So if you have a touch device, be it a tablet with Windows 8 or something like a, a touchscreen PC, like the HP TouchMart that I have, um, then you can easily use something like that uh, to invoke touch gestures. Um, really, really great uh, for those sort of computers that have touch enabled uh, you know, screens. Windows 8 works really well for that, really well for multitasking. Again, you can just drag in Windows here simply switch between the modern UI and, and uh, classic Windows UI. It's a really great way to kind of get the best of both worlds without having to completely switch out of one. Though if you want, again, you can completely slide out and you're back to the main application in full screen mode. So this has been tip number six, invoking what I like to call the application bar, which shows the uh, current status of all applications running, be it native desktop mode or modern UI. And you can do a little bit of split uh, screen view uh, with that application bar or just close out any apps that you want to close out. There's much more tips to come in the top 50 Windows 8 tips series, so be sure to check them out. Thanks for watching.